What is going on everybody? I hope you are having a great day. In this video, I will be going over my desk setup and everything that I use to be successful with online teaching. Also, before we jump into it, everything that I go over will be linked below if you wanna check it out for yourself. First things first, my monitor is my pride and joy. I love this thing, I've had it for three years now and it's actually not as expensive as it might look. I got it for Black Friday for like 150 bucks, which is totally worth it. It's a 27 inch curved Samsung display. Yeah, like I said, it's my pride and joy. I absolutely love it. All right, the second thing and arguably the most important part of my desk is my MacBook Pro. If you haven't seen my unboxing yet already, go check that video out. But basically, I got a brand new 16 inch MacBook Pro with 32 gigs of RAM which is I'm very proud of. I, I love RAM. RAM is so important, by the way, uh, for processing power. And it just helps me with, you know, if I'm running a lot of Zoom calls and different presentations and tabs open, and especially for editing as well, because that's very like processing heavy. Computer, super, super important. And then we have my keyboard and mouse. The keyboard is just a basic wired Mac keyboard. My dad just had it sitting around in the house. And so I asked him if I could have it when I bought my monitor. So yeah, that's just a wired one. I've linked a refurbished version of that below because they don't make that keyboard anymore. And then I've also linked below the brand new version that's like a wireless keyboard. Yeah, if you want that, honestly, the brand new version looks really cool. And I'm debating investing in the space gray one just cause then it would match my whole vibe. We'll see, it's not necessarily worth the money because this keyboard works perfectly fine and there's really no reason to get it other than it looks cool. So at the moment I haven't bought it because it's not a good financial decision, but you know, I don't always make the best financial decisions, so you might see it in the future. Moving on from that is my mouse and this thing, Oh my gosh, guys, I got this a few years ago as well, and it is so, so, so nice and so important. I used to use like an Apple Magic Mouse, and it was just so uncomfortable. My hand would just like sit like this all day, and like I would get like wrist pain, and I don't know. The way I see it, like I use my computer so much that I need a good mouse that's not gonna put pressure on my wrist and give me carpal tunnel down the line, which is common if your setup is bad. You will get carpal tunnel or wrist issues later on in, in life and I don't want that. So anyways, the mouse that I got is an Anchor, I think it's pronounced Anchor, um, ergonomic mouse. And the beauty of it is that it actually, like I can show you right here, the way my hand sits on it, it looks kind of weird, I know, but when, when you have it like this on the desk, do you see how my wrist is perfectly neutral? There's no, there's absolutely no pressure on any point of my wrist or my hand. My hand is just sitting relaxed. Like this is how my hand would normally want to sit. And so the mouse is just like, okay, it wants to sit like that, let's put it there. And it's got the two buttons um, on either side. So this is honestly like huge investment. If you don't buy anything else from here, I, I would strongly recommend you go with the mouse. It's pretty cheap, it was like 20 bucks. Yeah, even just having the mouse and your laptop is like a game changer. So strongly recommend you get that. If you're, I mean, especially with quarantine, like we're all sitting on our computers for long hours of the day, so uh, might as well invest in that. I think it's definitely worth it. Also from Anchor, I have a wireless charger for my phone. And this wireless charger has come in clutch because when I FaceTime my friends or my family, I can just sit my phone on that charger and it's charging while also holding my phone up at an angle so I don't have to hold it when I'm FaceTiming people. So that's been really nice. The last thing I have that I forgot to talk about is my laptop stand and it's called a Rain. I think it's called an M stand by Rain or something. I don't know, but I'll link it in the description. The thing I like about this laptop stand is it's kind of at an angle so it's comfortable if I want to use my laptop's keyboard or whatever, it works great. And then it puts my laptop screen at my eye level so I don't have to like bend down and strain my neck. But yeah, that concludes my desk tour. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback, I guess, in the comments below. By the way, I'm not gonna go over cable management because I do not know how to manage cable. I'm not your go-to for cable management. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I just literally just toss all the cables <laughs> underneath the desk. So it might look clean on top, but underneath it's a disaster. So don't ask me for cable management help. I hope you found this video helpful. If it was, drop it a like and don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every single week. I'll see you in the next one.